Well, hello there. Welcome to my mess. This is Lonnie from Grace Blossoms for you. And today I am endeavoring to fill up a journal that I made. And I'm trying to simplify, but it's not easy. So I made this. It's out of a Kleenex box, but I just happened to have a pretty one. At least I thought it was pretty. And I needed a thin journal. Haha, <laughs> she says. It was thin before I put it, before I started putting things in it. I used thin paper, no cardstock, um, and now I am trying to make sure that there is enough room in here for some writing to happen. Try not to fill it up too much. There is quite a bit of blank spaces, but I also have a lot of verses that I want to put in here. And so I have started doing that. That's a tuck. Now, the, because this is going to someone who attends a church, I am putting encouraging scriptures in here. So I have this heart uh, cluster made into a tuck, and it says, Jesus Christ, be praised. And I sewed around that heart. Um... I disguised some of the scripture because, well, not because, but I printed on both sides. I printed a nice design on the one side, and then I put scripture on the other side. This is Philippians 4, verses 6 through 8. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. So, my aim is to encourage some young people. And uh, I'm going to try and use a lot of the things that I have already made in the past. So this should go relatively quickly. The hardest part will be deciding what goes where. Um, a pocket I made yesterday and it was a lot of fun because it didn't turn out the way it was supposed to. And yet it's actually better because I can... Um, get a whole lot more stuff in here than originally planned. So I am trying to put as much scripture in as I can, even in, um, like this is the side of the pocket. Um, here's a little label. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. And that kind of summarizes up that long verse I just read in Philippians. And I actually used this. I did some mark making and I put this in behind here just to give it a little, like a mat for the verse there. I backed some of my pretty pages onto this packing paper. It worked really well. It stays nice and thin and yet it gives it a little more stability. Then, um, let's see what else. This was the remainder of the tissue box that I used. So I put that in here as a belly band and I can put more scripture in there. I'm also putting in some blank cards. So we can do that. And they can write on the blank pages, obviously. And then it just comes to putting in some more things so that we can hide some more 
stuff in here. So I've got this belly band I made a while back. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And that was Jesus that said that. And I'm going to try and fill up some of the pages that already have designs on them. So what I was thinking was like maybe make a pocket over here. Then I feel like I would I would be saving some of the blank spots for them to be writing in. So yeah, this is a new project and I actually haven't presented it to the youth group, but I want to present it to the leader of the youth group and make these available to her so that she might want to pass them out. And so if she likes that idea, I could be making a bunch of these. And that could explain why I have been on this mass making kick because honestly, I've been making a ton of stuff and not really knowing why. So, what have you been up to? What are you working on? I would love to know. Nobody ever answers me when I ask for comments. I'll try not to take it personally though. So here is a flip and it turned it into a pocket so I can put lots of um, scripture in there. I thought this was a sticker, but it's not. It's a verse. It's one of my favorites. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. This is available as a free printable on my coffee page. And that is in the link in my description channel description okay so in the middle I put one of these carry pockets um, and then I put some dangles the dove here is supposed to remind of the Holy Spirit and the was that a cleft a music thing the music symbol, I think it's called a cleft, but anyways, trouble, trouble cleft, maybe. Um, can you tell I'm not really into music? Uh, I was thinking that could remind of praise, sing a new song unto the Lord, that type of thing. Then I have a ton, well, maybe not a ton. On one side, I put papers with scripture on the other side I put blank cards so that the person could write and I have more I think that might be too wide I'll see no yeah it works so for this one I sewed some lace onto this journal card and then I added some papers. So that could be like a tiny little booklet. And I might want to put that in the back here so that other stuff will show also. And then I got this piece of paper from Donna at Journal, sorry, Junk Journal Ideas. It was a free printable if you go to her website. She has a YouTube channel. You can find her from there. Here is 
Um, this was a free printable from Pam at the Paper Outpost. And Shabby Dabby Duda. Tina showed us how to make a journaling spot out of a belly band. So these belly bands I made, I think, was it a couple weeks ago? And I used the scrap pieces of paper I had. So then I took Tina's idea and made a journaling spot. And it's a hinge, so it's attached to the back. And then I put a paper clip on there to keep it together for now. And then I got this free butterfly printable from Fussy Cut Freebies. And so that makes up that belly band. And then there's scripture on the back there. And this page is probably the heaviest so far. So that's how it goes, right? So then I have all these other things that I want to stick in here yet. And so I probably will need to add some pockets. Here I made a belly band out of the leaves that we drew last week and I think I can put some more stuff in here because this is the cover so it's um, sturdier and I've got one of these clock booklets that we made a while back and put that in there I'm gonna fill this whole side up I think let's see what else I have some more scripture cards. These are also on my coffee page. I thought they, I thought I had made some stickers and I did, but these are not the sticker ones. These are the cardstock ones. I was hoping to add a sticker. All right, so I'm gonna go grab some more pockets, I guess, because they seem to be out here. I do have this, which would make a nice um, tuck spot. So I started this yesterday afternoon and so far so good. I mean, like I said, the hardest part is now deciding what goes where. And then I need like a focal point here. Something like that. I do like these jars. I got them from um, Creative Fabrica. However, there is one little problem. And that is the E is not done quite right. So it looks like there's a spelling mistake on it. So what I've been doing is just um, drawing over it. There, hardly noticeable. It's a pretty picture though, so still wanna use that. All right, so I'm gonna put that in as a tuck spot. This can be glued down all over. So yeah, I'm putting stuff on the patterned paper so that I can add more stuff. There's another one. This person must really need to know 
Philippians 4 verse 6 because it's in here a lot. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. I don't know, maybe you need to hear that today. I'm not going to put that too far down because the glue's not dry yet. So, Okay, I'll be right back with some more pockets. Okay, so I brought some more stuff. Um, there's a pocket that really goes with that page. But I was thinking of putting it here. I know, it's a blank page, however, it's got something there, so I'm going to cover it up. I think I have too much stuff here, I don't think I'm going to be able to put it, I mean I could stuff it, but. I want this to be semi-practical. So they'll like to look at it. They'll like to actually use it. And they'll be able to put things in. Um, let's see. This is a journaling spot just a pretty piece of paper folded in a certain way and too big hmm. all right I'm gonna start putting some tag stuff in here here's a tag I made you are loved and wanted stick that in there Grateful, thankful, blessed. Some of these things they can stick in here too if they want. Um, Grace Blossoms for you. Yes, I know it's my logo. However, um, Grace Blossoms for everyone who leans on it. And that's my message. If I had a message, that would be it. All right, so here is a something. I saw Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda do these. At least I saw a picture of something she had like it. And basically it was strips and sewn together with the butterfly. And I just thought that was so cool. So this could be like a side tuck that goes on the inside because I've got a lot of things on the outside already. So we're gonna put that in here. I was thinking I've got this lace thing a lace streamer another thing I saw Tina do with Shabby Dabby Duda she has so many great ideas okay we should be able to put something in here now have a journal card that has a verse on the back plus there's room for writing and what was I gonna put somewhere now oh, yeah. the lace streamer over 
the roses. Should I put it on the inside? I like it on the inside. And then I was going to maybe put it as a little bit of a tab sticking out. Yeah, that works. Okay, we can put something here too. Too big, something a little smaller. Too big. Well, to do that, it's a little white. I'm going to dirty it up a bit. This is a sticker. It's a label actually, label paper. Actually works good there because it's not um, it's not the the writing's not super dark there it just kind of adds to the you know what's already there it doesn't uh, doesn't take away and I think that on top. Learn from wisdom. Okay, so there's a whole page that can be written on. And there's some more pages that can be written on. And so we're going to tuck something in here. This tag says, choose love. I think that would go nicely there. Have it sticking out the top there. Just trying to see how thick it is. I think I'm actually almost done. I'm just going to add a few more things. Um, let's see. I want to put this teddy bear in. Because deep down, aren't we all little girls that like teddy bears? I could put that on the pocket. I could. Top actually is kind of bare. I could put it up here and then the tuck spot could be underneath. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Here is a pocket that has paper in it for writing and I'm going to put some more 
Some more verses on there. Sneak them in as best as I can. I just have to figure out where to put that one. Okay. So that's that's there. And then we can tuck some more things in there. Maybe an empty card or something. Like so. And we need a place for this. Don't really want to cover up that corner. Don't want to cover up those roses. There's already something there and there. Oh, here's a spot. That would work. Or you can put it here. Again, it's kind of bottom heavy, although that last insert helped. So yeah, I think this is going to be a fun one. Put it here. It's just butterflies. And then this could still be part of a pocket, like a tuck spot. And let's see, I could just attach it on the one side. Attach it on the one side and then it can still be a tuck spot. And then I can, well, I actually wanted to put that somewhere else because there's a lot of writing paper in there. I'm gonna add this in here. That's actually holding a lot, so that's good. All right, I did want to put that one. I might have to choose. That one doesn't really go very well. This one would go better. That would be more like a belly band. I think I have to stop it with the um, thick stuff. Put that on there for decoration. So we can put more things, more verses or more blank pages. I've got another verse. I actually got a couple more. 1 Peter 1, verses 6 through 9, and Colossians 2, verse 2 to 4. Let their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, to reach all the riches of full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I say this in order that no one may delude you with plausible arguments. All right, I'm going to put both of those in there. So these are a couple um, labels or cards that I got from my sister in Happy Mail. 
And so I put two together and made a tuck spot there. That was, that worked out really nice. There is an empty card. What else? There's one more page I could put something on. And I have this pocket. Cool. Lots of sewing. Sunflower matches the sunflower over here. Um, again, what glue to use. I'm leaning towards the hot glue now because it dries faster. And then I can fill in the pockets right away. I don't have to wait. Okay, so let's see. I've got John 5, verse 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation but is passed from death unto life or this one's got sunflowers too the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy i am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly john 10 verse 10 i like that one For by grace you are saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. And that's a good reminder. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. So, something like that. I was going to put something on there yet. Hmm. I think I'm going to trim this picture down. Maybe with a decorative scissor. It's always nice when you can find your favorite one. I found it. This is the, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's a good one. I use it for postage stamps for cutting them out sometimes. I chose this picture again because I think it's going to go to a teenage girl. And having been one, <laughs> I think a picture of a young girl would resonate. Like so. Like so. And then why did I turn that off? Okay, so this is going to be a paper clip. And this we can put anywhere. this page aha then I'm gonna put this there because she is loved and more 
room here. I've got so many things pre-made. It's hard to it's hard to say stop. Well, it's easy to say stop. It's another thing to do it. Um, let's see. I had this I don't know if it will fall out of this one, but it's a tab. It could maybe hang there. And I have another paper clip with a little note. Little notebook on it. Oh, that's neat. The butterfly print is on this side, but it actually shows up on this side too. Nice. Because there's butterflies. It's not a butterfly journal per se, but there are lots of them in here. And I wanted to do something that would encourage the person to write in here. And I think going to be one of the stickers that I drew. I have quite a few that I drew. And what I could actually do is kind of put one, I could spread them out. Oh, I forgot I had these little banner stickers valued. You are wonderfully made. Oh, I gotta use that one. This could actually go. Oh, yeah. Put it on my desk and then I knock it off with my hand. Okay, where was I gonna do that? Something like that. Maybe put it on the inside. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, so I just took some label paper and drew on there. And so they became stickers after I cut them out. There, hopefully that will encourage the young one. So yeah, I've got a bunch more precious. Oh, I should have done a uh, page edge I still could cherished precious valued loved appreciated That one's not a banner. Let's see if I have any more. Okay, I don't have any more banners. But I could put this one. Oh, there's five of them. Maybe I just spread them out. Or I put this at the bottom. I think I'll do that. Or this. So many decisions. Okay. 
don't actually need that. out some more of those. Okay, so those aren't tucks, they're just Reminders of who they are in Christ. Okay, what else? So yeah, that's, I think, full enough. I, I mean, I could keep going, but it'll just get thicker. In fact, this one is pretty bulky because of the pin there. Okay. I think I'm gonna call that done. I mean, oh my goodness, you guys, these get so bulky. How does that even happen? And I was being careful. But hey, look at this. There's lots of spots for writing. Lots and lots. She says that she keeps putting more stuff in there. Because I want them to know it's okay to write in here. Like somebody already wrote in here, so go ahead and write in here. Do I really need to write in here to say that it's okay to write in here? I'm gonna put this in here. And put this in here. Let's see. I know. I can put some stickers. Right? Then they can add some stickers and in fact, there's a spot there. Bud. There's a rose on there. It's also pink. Okay. Have this sticker where I wrote the word smile. I 
there makes that useful. Oh yes, we have that. I have this hymn title that I was going to put with the birds somewhere. I'm just going to put it in there. It's got some things sticking out. I need something, probably I need something for a closure. I was thinking of putting like something right there. That one would work. Those two. I have to think how much ribbon I would need. Except I'm not gonna wrap it around there. Although that doesn't look super bad, but what I want to do is attach the ribbon on the inside. I think I can get rid of, rid of maybe that much. Having said that, be in the way. I might have to take a smaller Okay. This is going to be tricky. Cut this in half. gun doesn't want to work. Okay, work fast here. Okay, like so. And then this one The same, the same ish. Okay, good. Then, once it's dry, there they can tie it tighter after it's completed drying. Like so. And done. All right. What do you think of that? Would you like that if you were a teenage girl? Let me know what you like, what you don't like. I am open to suggestions. All right. Thanks for now. And uh, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye-bye.